I'm so going out and getting a diesel heater this week. Today, I'm getting one today. I'm not going to order one. Because last night were really cold. Right, I'm going to the gym. Yep, you heard that right. I'm going to the gym. Because last couple of days I've just had washers in back at the van. And it don't feel right. I have quite a thorough wash with my flannel and wet wipes. But I'm gonna have a really good I'm gonna have a sauna and I'm gonna have a shower. I've let my fitness go these last few months. I used to go to the gym nearly every day and got really quite fit. And then we went walking this weekend, me and Ellen, we went to Yorkshire Dales at Mallon. And I really could tell how much I've lost my fitness. So I thought, right, back in gym. Get on them machines, not just vending machine. That's what I usually do. So I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to have a steady workout and then my shower and everything. Exciting times. Yeah, I'll not film inside. One, I ain't got the balls to do it. But there's people doing it. You see it all the time now with the cameras on tripods what's all that about I need to just get it back and sort my underpants out front laundry <laughs> and then go and have a workout for five minutes put my tunes on just looking forward to getting in that sauna look at stair trip need to tidy up just chucked everything uh, so I've got my bag all ready and I forgot to put my pants in, my, a change of pants. There's some here, look. Do they, are there pants? Yeah. I've started putting things in cushion covers. It's a good idea, isn't it? And then I'm going to tidy up in here. Right, off to work out. <laughs> Glasses are steaming up. I feel a lot better now. I've had a sauna and a shower, and I've had a, I only did about a 10 minute workout, so I've got to slowly get back into it. I don't want to overdo it. So we start today, get fit in time for the summer. Yeah, some right poses in there, honestly. Unbelievable. <sighs> Tell you what winds me up a bit when you go to the gym. So the, you get these guys, they're normally massive blokes, and they're going to the gym, right, to get fit, no doubt, and they have to park in disabled uh, spots right outside doors. You go to the gym, why don't you park at the end of the car park and jog in or something? It don't make any sense to me that. Really winds me up as well I went to a co-op the other day and it's like a right little co-op and there's three normal spots and one disabled and all normal spots were full but the disabled one were empty and I thought I can't park in disabled it's not fair so I parked around the corner and walked it in and some guy in a Range Rover pulls in I felt like saying I could have parked there mate I'm not an idiot. I mean, he was a massive bloke, so obviously I didn't say out to him, but I thought it in my head. Anyway, just selfish people. You know, we're all part of the community. We're all going about this thing. We should help one another out, you know. I may as well show you. 
do a bit of a tour of what how the van's coming on, what I've done. So I've decided I'm going to build some sort of box for these to go in, although it's probably not going to fit in with this fridge. Uh, got all the usual stuff in there. And that, it keeps stuff cool, I just plug it into the front uh, cigarette socket when I'm driving so it doesn't drain leisure battery. Toilet, you've seen me do that. Uh, the battery stuff's in there. I've started hanging clothes up here, coats and things. It does tend to change a bit when I've got Helen. This is like when I'm on my own. That lifts up all my duvet and everything. Single bed. I've got a piece of foam that goes on there so it's longer and then I've got a piece of foam uh, high density foam I've got a shorter one because I got the one I got was too thick there's some memory foam heated mat and that uh, it pulls out this bed and it goes into a double bed but when there's double beds set up there's no room at all so it's a right mess at the moment. I've put them shelves up, I can hang things. That's my bin. See, it keeps changing all the time, and you just end up creating extra storage. Uh, this is me. Oops. So, this is my sink. There. Yeah. I was going to plumb a tap in, I've even bought one. Can't be bothered really. So that just goes into there, goes into a bottle and I empty it. I store loads of water in the under there. A pop-up table. That's my unit. Look at stator in there, there's all my household stuff. I need to sort out in there. So yeah. It's coming on. But Next job, as I said, is sort of box those in. The comments on YouTube are brilliant, and I'm try I try to answer all the comments, but honestly, believe me, it's a mammoth task. It's like a full time job answering comments. And is it is the things building up? Is the I'm getting more subscribers and everything. I'm starting to get a few idiots. There's some right bitter people, and hey, I don't know what's, you know, what's wrong with them. They, they sort of want you to fail. Some people. I mean, that's a tiny percentage. The majority of people are supportive, but I just don't get it. Each to their own, I guess. But I think it says a lot about you as a person, doesn't it? When you, you just want to go to random people on YouTube that, that are just trying to make a, a better life for themselves and everything, and you just want to start abusing them. It's really bizarre. But there you go. Keep them coming. It don't bother me. Because I've got thick skin. I'm a 50 year old Barnsley bloke. So you ain't going to upset me. I'm off to meet my mate Mark at the gym. We're going to have a workout and then a, a sauna. Oh, uh, but I can have a shower as well so that's good although he's not confirmed yet so I hope he's still going but it's at Rotherham and uh, my mum and dad live at Rotherham so I'm calling in to my mum and dad's for some tea I wonder what they're going to be cooking and we'll have a guess right it'll be my dad that's doing it my dad's brilliant both my mum and dad are amazing cooks I think my dad's going to be doing it and he'll do some like homemade chips, some veg. What's he going to have with it? That's the thing. Maybe fish, probably some fish. Do you remember when we, you always used to have cod in butter sauce? You'd, you'd have new potatoes, cod in butter sauce, cabbage. I used to love that. You know, in 70s. Oh, I'm going to have that. Gonna, can you still get it? You, they were like in bags, weren't they? You'd boil them. And then you'd have Arctic roll for your pudding. Living dream, that. They were 80s, not 70s. When you think in them days, everything were cooked. 
there were a lot of pies, a lot of pastry going on. But we weren't fatties like we are now. Well, don't look at this all. So I enjoyed that little mini session there, slowly getting back into it, get some weight off. I have no excuse now because I'm using these places to go to uh, to have a shower, so I may as well have a bit of a workout. And I'm feeling refreshed and clean and I feel good. Uh, I've just been reading uh, some comments on YouTube again. It's weird, because there's people that are like, yeah, they completely get it. They come, they're come, they like, yeah, do it. I wish I could do it. Or, you know, some, some people's circumstances, they can't do it. That's red lights that's making my face look red. Like traffic lights. And then there's people, and they're just, oh, you're mad. <laughs> they think it's going to be a disaster. It's, it's brilliant. I'm over a week in, and it's absolutely brilliant. I'm loving it. And it's winter. You know? I'm going to find somewhere rural for the evening because I like the idea of sleeping somewhere by a lake. I don't know where I'm going to find a lake. I've got a sort of rough idea what direction to head in where there is some lakes. But all, all these people that watch these Canadian van lifers, I'm in Rotherham at the moment, so there's a little bit of difference. Might find a pond somewhere. With a shopping basket in it. <clears throat> now I've got an idea roughly where there's some lakes and I'm just going to see if I can pull up somewhere. here along this road. But it's a bit scary if I'm honest. I'm just gonna have a look around the corner because it's a bit too quiet here, there might be murderers. This is where I'm parking. I've not got my tripod, unfortunately. I'll see if I can prop it up somewhere.
I'm getting uh, more used to getting up early in the morning now. So I'm not as tired. Not real good sleep. So I've just pulled into a place, uh, well, a, a place called Langset Reservoir, and I've been here before. Actually, there's some nice walks. Park up. That's it. Yeah, I'm reversing it. I'm going to park up here, have a bit of breakfast, and then go down that walk down there. Happy days. Sun will be up soon. <sighs> so the journey to getting fit continues. I feel like right dark walking around filming myself. Not that there's going to be many people around at this time, just dog walkers really. But uh, yeah, it's another beautiful morning. I slept well. I'm getting used to it, loving it. So last week is the time when all my bills would have gone out. So as many of you know what it's like, all month you're putting money aside and it gets to when your bills are due if you're like me and you've got your rent your council tax gas electricity water so you're feeling a bit flush you've got all this money in your account and then all of a sudden overnight it's gone and it's like back to square one i weren't planning on an uphill bit I'm sorry for heavy breathing. But to think, this is practically on his doorstep. Oh, just down road from Barnsley. There's lots of great uh, countryside here. Sheep are looking at me funny. Morning. I just turned the backs on you. I don't even know where I'm going. I thought it, this was going to be a walk around reservoir, but I'm walking out into countryside now. People are working longer and harder hours, harder and longer, so they can have a flash car. So the neighbours will think, oh, they're doing well. But here's an idea. Don't have things like that. Stop spending all your money on designing clothes and flash cars and have just normal stuff. Then you're not as stressed, you don't have to earn as much money, you don't have to be reliant rat race as much. <laughs> Live in a van. Don't do van life in winter, they said. Well, a lot of people said don't even do van life. You're stupid. Well, just over a week in and so far it feels like the best decision I've ever made. So I've done what I usually do. I can't find a van. I think I think it would be up here somewhere and there's no path. 
I'm like lapping myself here. So I've looked on map again on my Google Maps and I've walked miles past Santa. I was looking at wrong car park. So there's a main road up here, I'm gonna walk up to the road and it's walking and ask him. See what he says. Yeah mate. It's car park that way. Yeah. Oh good. Oh well, lovely, thank you. I hate getting old. You just get crap at everything, don't you? So, you know, that's upset me a bit. The fact that I always used to think I'd got brilliant quarter uh, sense of direction. And I'm getting lost on a right easy road. I'm having to ask people for directions. It's embarrassing. You just looks like going to the gym last night and you see all youngins training. You think, Cripple. Remote controls from telly. You do, I think, I don't know if it's because you get bad at it, it's just like you can't be bothered. Turn it on, change channel and turn it up and down, that's all you want to do. Why is there all them buttons on? There she is, our Dorothy. Bless her. Yeah. So look who I've just bumped into. Bet Lanes. <laughs> and I'm taking her out for tea. Seeing as I've no rent to pay, <laughs> I'm going to spend it on fish and chips. So we're in uh, Sheffield. We're not exactly uh, sophisticated. I, I says, I'll take you for a meal, so you're expecting something posh. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting fish and chips. But it's a posh fish and chips. This is Whitby's. Yeah. So, we've been here before, it's really nice. Look at her. She's in, you, you, oh, I like that top, that's nice. <laughs> so we're just, we're just chatting about getting old and how we look on camera. What did you just say? Yeah. Now I've not got my glasses on and I look at you, it's like you're in soft folk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you were going to compliment me and then you were saying because you've not got your glasses no, on. No, I think oh, you're yeah. extremely handsome. Oh, whatever. You... Oh, look at that. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Chin chin. Chin chin. Not that chin. <laughs> oh, you see? It's abuse, it's a domestic abuse relationship, this. Oh gosh, that's dry. No. Oh, look at her, she's thinking I've got a bigger one than hers. Oh, uh. So, we've got, uh, we've got fish and chips, I've got peas. And don't, Helen's got curry sauce, which don't get me wrong, I do like curry sauce, but it just seems wrong. Fish and chips and curry sauce, I don't know, it's wrong. And a lemon. I think. And some bread. Curry sauce is very Yorkshire. Yeah. So yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? It does, it looks amazing. Yeah, so, we've had some mental comments, haven't we? There's been like a lot of Jesus comments, haven't there? It's nothing wrong with it. No, we're not. We're each to their own, but it's like people are wanting to tell us about Jesus, and that's fine. And then you get some people. Just, I think people they like watch your films, and it's like they've not watched it at all. Anyway, each to their own. You've had some negative ones, haven't you? Yeah, got me down. But it's the law of averages, isn't it? It's depressed me a bit. Oh, it has been. You've just got to just ignore it. I've been inside, I've been inside. <laughs> 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 you can't have been inside. You can't keep us straight. Were you not going to lose sleep over it, are you? No. 